This tutorial is about using the grid and how the grid affects the placement of objects. Knowing how to make use of the grid and its features is very important when building scenes, placing objects, building prefabs, and sculpting terrain in AGF. Let's start this tutorial by creating an empty workspace. I have already started AGF. This is the welcome screen. I am going to click the Load Project button and select the project we made in the first tutorial, Demo Project 01. Click on the Project folder and then click the Open button. I want to create a new scene in this project, so I will click the Create New Scene button. I'm going to name this scene Scene 02 and click the Create button. Next I want to select this grid theme and then click the Load button. Now we have to select the resolution and quality. I'm going to select 1600 by 900 for the resolution and Fantastic for quality settings. By default, the grid theme loads with the first object in the warehouse on your tooltip. Let's look through the dock and drag out the grid editor window. By clicking on these small arrows, more menus having to do with the possible settings of the grid will appear. The nudge up and down arrows nudge the grid up and down. The amount or distance of the nudge effect can be changed in the nudge amount field. You can click these arrows to change the nudge amount. The nudge amount changes only in 0.25 meter increments. You can manually change the height of the grid by inputting a value here or by clicking and dragging on this slider. You can toggle grid visibility here with this check mark. You can make changes to the grid settings under the grid settings tab. You can toggle off and on the different types of grid lines with these check boxes. If you're on a PC or Linux machine, you can change the color of the grid lines. Currently on Mac versions, the changing of color is not active. You can change the thickness of the grid lines here with this checkbox. You can change the spacing of the grid line by changing the values or by clicking and dragging on the sliders. You can toggle the snap settings under the snap settings tab. These snap settings are also toggled by tapping the Z button on your keyboard. Notice how the Smart Snapping checkbox is available when you have any snap settings toggled on. Smart Snapping automatically changes the grid settings to match the currently selected object's dimensions. Having Smart Snapping active will ensure every selected object will snap to itself correctly, regardless of its size. As I click out the cubes, notice how the camera moves and centers itself to the last object clicked to the grid. This automatic camera follow feature is designed to expedite your workflow. If you have several objects that need to be placed in a row or are to have a repeated offset, you can achieve this by tapping the G button. You can continue to tap the G button to repeat the last placement offset. If at any time you lose your bearings or you want to find the center of your workspace, you can tap the home button on your keyboard or click the home button on the shortcut menu. You can find the shortcut menu on the dock or via the radial menu. If you want to fill a large area with objects, you can do this by first placing an object and then tapping the H button. Tapping the H button repeatedly on your keyboard will continue to fill the grid with the selected object. If at any time you would like to clear all the objects from your scene, you could do this via the radio menu button. Right click the radio menu and then select the file clear button. This will bring up the clear workspace window. By clicking on the remove objects checkbox and then clicking the apply button, this will clear the objects from the workspace. If you want to interactively resize the grid to a particular object or scale, you can do this by tapping the greater than and less than keys on your keyboard. To interactively nudge the grid, use the V and B buttons on your keyboard. To snap the grid to a particular height, float the cursor or object to a location and then tap the tab button. Moving of the grid will create a new work surface, allowing you to place objects at that height. A reference for the grid shortcuts are available at the bottom of the grid editor window.